Artists up and down YouTube will often say that you shouldn't go to art school because it's too overpriced and you don't actually need a degree to be an artist. I think they're only looking at it from one angle though, and there is a ton of skills and information that could be of benefit to you. Have you noticed those same artists are often selling their own version of art school online? Probably a coincidence. Most of the time when you think about art school, you'll probably be thinking about the technical skills that you'll be learning, like anatomy and perspective and gesture drawing and all the art fundamentals that you need to become the kind of artist that you want to become. And that's likely true. That's kind of how education works. But that's not everything that you need to learn to become an artist. And I feel that 50% of the skills that you need are represented 100% of the time, especially anatomy. So in this video, we're going to talk about the other skills that you'll learn and more importantly, how you'll learn them. And maybe we'll change some minds. If you're undecided about whether to go to university in the UK, specifically England, really, then stick around to the end because we're going to talk about debt. Now, I finished my fourth and final year of university this year, and these four skills have helped me probably more than learning the fundamentals. The first of those four is discovery. Now, I'm not talking about discovering new techniques or skills or mediums or whatever, because that's obvious. I'm talking about discovering who you are as an artist and what your goals are as an artist as well. For me, one of the things that I discovered is that I don't iterate on ideas enough. And the reason that I was able to discover this is because after each project or brief, me and the lecturers would sit down and self critique and I started to notice a pattern. I realized that at a certain point of each project, I would just basically stick with the first or second idea I came with and run with it. The main problem with that is that your first or second ideas usually kind of suck. But now that I know that I have this tendency, I tend to give myself more time to fine tune my ideas and let them percolate for a while, whether that's for a character design, a script or well, anything actually. Fun fact, the script for this video was written five times and each time it was completely different. I also discovered how much I can do in a single day. I'm going to explore this topic more in a future video because I used to cram every second of every day I could into my calendar, assuming that I would never experience anything that humans experience like tiredness or pain or just having a bad drawing day. I've since learned to plan much smaller to do lists and my productivity has actually gone up, not down. But like I said, I'm going to do a full video on this because I think it's really important and it would have really helped me. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it. As far as discovering what your goals are as an artist, art school can really help with that because it can help iron out all the details or maybe even completely change your mind while you're there. The second skill is accountability. You may already feel that you're accountable and that's great, but most of us aren't, not consistently anyway. One of the early things that you'll learn when you go to art school is that you are 100% responsible for your output. And yes, that's true even if you don't go to art school, but what art school offers are hard deadlines. And that helps you put accountability into practice. If you don't submit your work by the agreed deadline, you'll fail that class or semester. It's as simple as that. Whereas if you don't hit the targets that you arbitrarily set for yourself, what are the consequences? The other thing that accountability gives you is critiques and applying those critiques to the next project or piece that you work on. You are 100% responsible for your output after all. And learning how to listen to critiques and applying what is said to your next work will take that work to the next level. You won't waste time blaming others or wallowing in self-pity, which most of us are probably guilty of, myself included. You'll learn to get up, dust yourself off and continue to make work because you have to. I got a 2-1 in my degree, but I was aiming for a first. I'm accountable for that. It's just a shame that I had to go through art school first to truly appreciate it. Then again, I didn't have a YouTube channel like this to look at. <laughs> Fuck it, oh, what am I doing? The next skill is experimentation. It's not just about experimenting with new mediums or new techniques or anything like that. It's experimenting with the way that you think about your art. If you make comics, for example, then try writing the story from a completely weird perspective and build the characters around that. Try new pieces of software that you never would have considered before, like InDesign, Blender or Storyboard Pro. Try different types of art, like animation, for example. 
try subverting an entire genre. The point is, try everything all the time. The reason that art school in particular is a really good place to do this is because they give you permission to fail. If you try to achieve something and they can see what you're trying to do, even though you didn't quite make it, a good art school will applaud your bravery. And as a result of you trying lots of different things, you'll have lots of different reference points to pull from, which will make your art more interesting, engaging, and arguably just better. This is something that I wish I did a lot more while I was at school. And the final skill is good old fashioned discipline. Discipline can become toxic when mixed with hustle culture, so try not to combine the two. But discipline in its purest form is the thing that will keep you keeping on. There have been plenty of days where I just want to sit down, play video games and eat junk food instead of drawing. And there's nothing wrong with doing that every now and then. In fact, it's probably better for your mental and physical health if you give yourself regular breaks. But how I've been able to fight off procrastination is with a really simple trick. All I do is say to myself, I have to draw for between 10 and 30 minutes and then I can play video games for the rest of the day. And that seems like a really good deal to me. And more often than not, when it comes to the 30 minute mark, that tends to turn into a few hours because I get really involved in the drawing. And in the worst case scenario, when you're having a bad day, you've at least done 30 minutes of drawing, right? And doing 30 minutes of drawing every day is enough to push the needle ever so slightly forwards to you completing your projects and achieving your goals. These four skills are the reasons that I don't regret going to art school, but that doesn't mean that art school is perfect and it doesn't even mean that it's necessarily appropriate for you. I'm saddled with debt that I'll probably never be able to pay off and I'm not a full-time comic creator even though that's what my degree is in. Ultimately, you should know what's best for you and your family. I'm going to post some of the projects that I did for uni on my Patreon page, so I'll leave a link to that in the description below. I do other things on there like early access to these YouTube videos, an extended blog, and early access to my comic as well, which isn't out publicly but is out today on Patreon. Any school, whether it's a brick and mortar building, a YouTube channel, or an online course that you've paid for can all teach you the fundamentals but it's a lot more difficult to learn the skills that I've laid out in this video when you don't have the same feedback that I had in the form of lecturers and contemporaries. Experience is the ultimate teacher, and if I could go back four years into the past and do it all over again, pandemic included, then I would. As far as debt is concerned, have a look at Martin Lewis's insight and advice. I'll leave a link to more information in the description. This applies only to people in the UK. While you're here, this video on the realities of the comic industry may interest you, and while you're watching it, I'm going to be building my own art school while decrying all others.